Hello and welcome to your HTC Sensation introductory video. I'm Sarah from Genai and I'm here to give you an introduction to setting up this incredible business device. The HTC Sensation has a great range of functionality and really opens up a world of business opportunities. I'll guide you through setting up some of the basics and personalising your handset so you're up and running on your HTC journey. To begin, let's look at the startup features available to you. To insert the SIM card, simply press the button at the bottom of the device to remove the panel and place your SIM in the SIM slot. Insert the battery and replace the rear panel. Now you're ready to switch on the device. Press the power button at the top of the device and wait for the setup screen to appear. The first time you turn on your device, you'll need to go through the startup steps. It's really easy and will only take a few minutes. The first screen that will appear when you turn on the phone is the setup screen. The HTC will guide you through a number of different instructions. Transfer My Stuff allows you to move your contacts, SMS messages and calendar events from your old phone to your new HTC sensation via Bluetooth. If you want to utilise this function, follow instructions on the screen. Alternatively, you can select Skip to move on to the next screen. Internet connection connects you with the internet via mobile network or Wi-Fi. Once you've made a selection, press Next. With Scheduled Sync, your HTC phone will ask you whether you want to sync data manually or automatically. Automatically will send you updates as soon as they come through. Manual allows you to update your phone when you're ready. Choose your preferred option and then select Next. Setup Wi-Fi Network gives you a list of available Wi-Fi networks near you. Select Next if you want to move to the next screen. Now you'll be asked to set up Google Location. Select Next if you agree with Google's location service. Tell HTC is an optional service that allows your mobile to talk to HTC. HTC can then add more features and newer versions of Android for the device based on that information. On the final setup screen, you can set up accounts such as Google, Exchange, ActiveSync and Facebook. We advise you to set up your Google account first. While it's not necessary to be able to use the device, it is recommended so you can experience the HTC Sensation's full Android capability and the Android Marketplace. To set up your Google account, select Google and follow the instructions given. Enter your Google account email and password and select sign in. If you don't have a Google account, select create account and the sensation will walk you through the setup. Now let's take a look at the all important email feature that will let you stay on top of your inbox while you're away from your desk. Setting up email on the HTC Sensation is quick and easy. From your home page, select Mail. For your work email, select Microsoft Exchange ActiveSync. For another account, select one of the other options. Follow the prompts on the phone and enter your email address and password. In some cases, you'll need a username and server settings. These can be obtained from your company's IT support person. Once you've successfully entered these details, you'll be ready to send and receive emails from virtually anywhere. Now let's have a look at setting up Bluetooth on your device. Bluetooth lets you share files with other Bluetooth capable devices, play music through compatible external entertainment systems, and of course lets you use your phone while driving with hands-free technology. First open the application menu and select settings, then wireless and networks. Here you can also enable airplane mode and turn on and manage your Wi-Fi connections. Turn on your Bluetooth, then select Bluetooth settings and scan for devices. The phone is now looking for other Bluetooth devices in close range. Simply choose the device you wish to connect to. You may be asked for a PIN. This is generally either 0000 or 1234. Your device should now pair with the other device. Please remember Bluetooth is a feature that consumes battery power, so you should switch it off once you're finished using it. The Active Home screen is bright, easy to use and makes accessing your most useful applications simple. Here's how to personalise your Active Home screen. 
It's easy to populate the screens with widgets or applications by tapping and holding the screen. Choose either widget or app. Here we will choose app and add a calculator. Click the calculator icon and the application now appears on your active home screen for quick access. Press and hold the icon to drag into the desired position. And if you no longer want the icon, press and hold and drag to the rubbish bin that appears at the bottom of the screen. You can also drag icons from the application menu to the active home screen. You're now on your way to discovering even more on your HTC sensation. Have a look through the menus and explore the widgets and applications to make the most out of this amazing business tool. And remember, the more you practice, the easier it will become.